This video is based on the recent publication by Dr. Keith Johnson of MIT in the International Journal of Astrobiology. In the standard model of Big Bang cosmology, the matter and energy of our expanding, essentially flat universe, are controlled by dark matter, a substance of undetermined nature, and dark energy, a negative pressure field of exotic physical origin, associated with the zero-point energy of vacuum quantum fluctuations. Over 30 years of searching for dark matter, proposed exotic elementary particles such as WIMPs and axions have not been observed experimentally, even in the latest large underground xenon lux and MIT abracadabra detectors. Nor have the WIMPs predicted from supersymmetry theory been created in the CERN Large Hadron Collider. WIMPs and axions are non-baryonic elementary particles. Baryonic dark matter, composed of atoms or molecules, has been ruled out in conventional cosmology, because it is believed there's not enough of it in the universe. But what about hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, and the main component of stars and gaseous nebulae? It has been suggested that interstellar hydrogen can form Rydberg matter, a low-density condensed phase of weakly interacting hydrogen atoms. Rydberg matter can become quantum entangled over long effective distances, causing it to be transparent to visible, infrared, and radio frequencies, and thus qualifies as baryonic dark matter. However, hydrogen is not the only interstellar element that can form Rydberg baryonic dark matter. Oxygen, second only to hydrogen in abundance and chemical reactivity, readily combines with hydrogen to form water molecules. In fact, some nebulae, such as the Orion, contain vast amounts of water, which acts as a coolant in star formation there. It is also known that water molecules can bond to form nano-sized clusters. Here we see five water molecules forming a pentagonal nanocluster. This nanocluster vibrates in the terahertz region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Its cutoff vibrational frequency is 1.5 terahertz. The lowest entropy nanocluster formed by water pentamers is a pentagonal dodecahedral cluster. The dodecahedron contains a hydronium ion, H3O+. This water nanocluster also vibrates at terahertz frequencies. Such nanoclusters are like giant atoms, with electron wave functions that extend from the cluster. These water nanocluster molecular orbitals are also Rydberg orbitals, and therefore are the basis for Rydberg matter. Excitation of electrons to these orbitals explains why such water nanoclusters are transparent, and thus are dark matter. Such cosmic water nanoclusters can form naturally in gaseous nebulae, as they are well known to do in Earth's atmosphere and should be present in significant numbers throughout the Milky Way and other galaxies. In fact, galaxies are full of cosmic dust, much of it produced by supernovae explosions. Most of the dust is covered by thin coatings of amorphous water ice, from which water nanoclusters are ejected into space by incident cosmic rays. The most stable pentagonal dodecahedral clusters survive. What about dark energy, which is believed to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe? Unfortunately, quantum field theory, predicts a dark energy density associated with quantum fluctuations of the vacuum that is too large by 120 orders of magnitude. This is called the vacuum catastrophe. To attempt to solve this problem, we first view the vacuum electromagnetic field as a collection of quantized harmonic oscillators of normal mode frequencies, nu sub k, summing over the zero-point energies of each oscillator mode. H is Planck's constant, 
and C is the velocity of light in a vacuum. This leads to the energy density equation shown here. The wave vector, K, signifies the normal modes of the electromagnetic field that are consistent with the boundary conditions on the quantization volume, V. As V approaches infinity, one obtains the right-hand side of the equation. We can remove the infinity by replacing the upper limit of the integral by a cutoff frequency set by the Planck scale, but this still results in a huge vacuum energy by 120 orders of magnitude. If instead, we subtract the energy density, rho sub c, of virtual photons of zero-point vacuum fluctuations captured by ejected water nanoclusters, through the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the divergent integral is largely cancelled. New sub c is the cutoff vibrational frequency of the ejected water nanoclusters. This leaves the finite quantity shown to be identified with the dark energy density. For the prominent pentagonal dodecahedral water nanocluster, the cutoff vibrational frequency is approximately 1.7 terahertz. This formula produces the correct, relatively small dark energy density, namely 3.6 GeV per cubic meter. To summarize visually, cosmic water nanoclusters can absorb vibrationally, by the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the unwanted high-frequency virtual photons of zero-point energy vacuum fluctuations. Only vacuum fluctuations below the water nanocluster cutoff vibrational frequency are gravitationally active. The net pressure of the system is negative, consistent with dark energy. See this YouTube channel to learn the connection of this theory to life in the universe.